Welcome to the era of AI. Hello there and welcome. In this video, I'm going to actually explain to you how you can add effects to a video. Now we're just going to keep the captions all in there. The only thing I'm going to remove is, is this particular uh, sticker here. So I'm going to just click to remove it. And if you go to effects, you'll find a library of effects, a lot of effects. We're going to start with the simplest ones, okay? And I'm going to show you an illusion. You can, you can add an illusion of a glitch entrance at the beginning. So for example, let's say you're looking for the glitch video effect. All you need to do is to go to video effects and then click here on glitch. And then what you can do is you can go and find the glitch that you like. Personally, I think this one is good, the fuzzy one. Drag that fuzzy effect right over here. You can place it at the beginning of a video. And you can see that from here to here, it's going to be fuzzy, okay? But I don't want it to be that huge. I want to reduce the size of it just to a couple of, mini of seconds, you know, just one second, less than one second. And now, let me just actually spread it to the beginning. Watch Hello there this. And now, you can see that we have that particular uh, fuzzy effect over there, except for the fact that there is no sound that accompanies that. This is why it would be useful for you to go and search for a sound. So I'm searching for SFX Pixivay glitch in order for me to be able to find a glitch SFX sound effect. Um, and we have a lot here. So we have this sci-fi sound, epic logo, invader glitch, and so on and so forth, TV glitch, glitch sound effect. I like this one. You can see this one is good. It's pretty small. If you don't like it, you can use the TV glitch. So let's say that, for example, you're interested in the TV glitch. I can click to download that particular TV glitch. Remember that you can also check the CapCut library for audios. You can just search for the CapCut library for some audios. Now, one thing here, now we have the SFX. I can go to import and I can actually click over here on the import option. And I could basically go and drag that particular TV glitch right here. Before I apply the effect, I would like to show you that if you right click here on the import option, you can actually add folders. You can sort them out and filter them. But basically when you add folders, it's really useful because sometimes you have for a video, you might have 20 folders. Every folder contains videos and music and SFX for a specific uh, set, an amount of seconds for that scene. And you, you may want to place that in one specific folder to not get mixed up when you're editing everything. So this is extremely useful to create folders. You can rename folders by just right clicking. For example, let's say you want to name this asset one, for example, you can click save. You can enter inside a folder and then import elements to it like this. For example, I can import this TV glitch here as well. Or you can actually just drag and drop them from your computer to here. Or you can actually drag them here and then you can select them and drag them here, in which case they'll be placed inside. And you can always go back to undo what you have done. So now we have the TV glitch. Without further ado, let's get back into it. I can drag the TV glitch right over here. You can see that now the TV glitch is there. If I zoom in, you can see there's a gap here. There's nothing appearing which means that I can actually just crop that extra bit at the beginning and I can just leave the glitch and I can drag the glitch. First of all, let me reduce the, the size of it. Let me make it a little bit reduced in the, in the intensity of it. And let's zoom out and out. And you can see that the effect stops here. So I'm going to bring my cursor and place it right there. And then I can click on the effect and actually go here and split it. And then basically I can remove that particular sound and I can click here as well and fade it out. And if I go and watch this from the beginning, first of all, let me zoom out for a second for you to be able to see. Watch this. Hello there and welcome. Now the effect was applied except for it was not strong enough. So if I if I increase this the sound, if I increase it, let's listen again. Hello there and welcome. You can see that right there, we have music and we have a sound at the beginning that pretty much showcases this effect because it's a glitch, okay? And this is not the only glitch that exists, to be honest. There's a lot of glitches. If you go to effects, you can choose any glitch that you desire. So maybe if this, this is the glitch you're interested with, you can drag this instead of the other one. 
Just make sure that you make it match with the audio. And you can see that now we have a glitch. This is more of a TV glitch like that. And then there is a lot of glitches, right? So you can just pick anyone you like. You can get an idea about how they would look by moving your cursor right here, hovering over the glitch, which is going to give you an idea about how this is going to look like if you apply it to this particular image. So I'm just using all of them right now. And you can see that each one of them is different. And pretty much all of them are great, to be honest with you. Just choose one that you like. But glitches are not the only effects that exist. There's a lot of effects. For example, sometimes you might not be interested to add a glitch as an opening. So you might remove this sound effect. You might also want to remove this uh, effect here. And let's say maybe you want to add this uh, particular effect right here, TV on. You can drag it at the beginning. And then now watch this. Watch this. Hello there and welcome. You can see there is a TV, except for there is no sound to match it. So you can go to audio, search for TV on sound. And then in the library of sound effects, actually, I'm sorry, I went to music. So I have to, I have to go to sound effects here and search again for TV on sound. And if I just uh, wait a second here, Notice that it's going to start rendering the sound effect. So this is TV on. You can see this is pretty good. This is another one. Now I'm going to keep with the first one. So we can drag this right here. And now we have a special sound that I can increase the sound of it. Watch this. Hello there and welcome into the... And you can see that that applies as well. So we can go back to effect. There's a lot of effects. So... There is all these effects that you can experiment with, the blur. Uh, for example, I can add a camera effect on my face uh, by simply going here to the TV option. There is a TV, TV glitches. And I can drag this particular camera and notice that for this portion right here, it would apply a specific camera to my face. Now, it, it's not working properly. I think it's, uh, well, give me a second and I'll find it. TV lines. This is the one I'm talking about. And as you can see, this kind of emulates a camera, right? It looks like I'm in a camera mode right there. And there's a lot of them. There is the seagull digital as well. This one also adds pretty much makes, makes it look like you're actually being filmed on camera and you can, you can increase it. You can actually expand it to, to fit your entire video or just to fit specific parts of that video. If you don't want it to fit entirely, uh, you can add a scan effect. So in case you're interested to add some AI effects, I, I really recommend that you explore these effects because there's a lot of effects. So for example, notice from here, I'm going to be scanned like that. So you can see it's uh, kind of like a scan. And there's this other one as well, like, like this. And this is another different type of effect. And then there's more. There's cartoon effects. There's, there's a lot of effects. So for example, for cartoon effects, there's some pretty interesting effects like the fire so for instance, you can add, make it look like a, there is a fire going. That's also a beautiful type of effect. Uh, there are other effects such as these bolts. For example, you can add a bolt. It looks like an anime. You can make yourself look like an anime here, like this, as you can see. So looking like an anime, more like it. And then there's a lot of effects over here as well. So you can feel free to check them out. And then there's a lot of other effects. Lightning is one that I really like. If I drag the lightning, let's say the moment I say click funnels into the click, right? The moment I say click funnels, I can actually drag lightning. I can scroll down, remove this sound effect over here. I can also reduce the size of this one. And then here, the moment there is lightning, I can go and grab a piece of lightning, right? In the audio, I can look right. Not like this. I can look for lightning or I can just go to Pixabay and look for some lightning sound. Uh, there's a lot of lightning sounds in Pixabay. I, I can click here. So the first one is good. So I can actually drag it and it will fit perfectly with the effect. All right. So if I play it right now to the ClickFunnels Mega Masterclass, this, you can see that the sound matches. And of course, you can cut the, the, the sound. Uh, and and basically rescale it however you wish. 
by reducing the size of it, increasing the size of it. You can also fade it out to loose, to, to smoothen the end of it so that it doesn't play for a long time. Click funnels, mega, max, right? We can play it just for a small time or just increase a little bit right? like this. Funnels, mega, masterclass. All right, so there's many things that you can do with effects. Now, there are some interesting effects as well that I really would like to share, which are body effects. So if you'd like to add some kind of laser effect, you can do that. Let me show you what I'm talking about in a second. So here, if I go to body effects, there's all these body effects right here. If Now, let me remove the lightning. I can click on body effects. And if I want to have superpowers, I can go to superpowers. And I could actually add superpowers. So imagine if you want to add, let's just say, lightning eyes. Just drag this effect. And guess what? I have lightning eyes. Master class. And you can see them there. And I can also control the color of these lightning eyes, turn them into a different color if I really want to. So there's all sorts of things I can do. I can also add eye reflection to kind of make it look like I'm the Terminator. I can also add this type of effect, which is a glow effect that makes me look like I have a Conqueror's Hockey from One Piece. Then we have the lightning to make it look like there is lightning all across your face. Uh, you can make it look like your face is being scanned uh, by a uh, scanner like this. So let's just watch for a couple of seconds. Notice that it's it's pretty much scanning right now. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? So these are the effects explained in detail. Now, without further ado, I'll introduce you in the next video to transitions. Then we will move on to explain about Runway ML, Kyber AI, as well as other tool, which is called uh, Leonardo AI that also can generate footage. And also there is another tool as well, which I'm very interested to uh, showcase to you which is uh, Pika Labs that can also create videos. Stay tuned for I'll see you in the next lecture.